Advent is a time when we prepare for the celebration of the birth of Jesus. It is also a time when we look forward to the time when Jesus will come again. Advent comes from a very old word, Adventus, which means the arrival of something or someone important. Jesus came to earth uh, as our saviour. This is what Christmas is all about, to celebrate the celebration of something new. God broke into time and space and entered our world. Now we wait his return. If we endure, we will reign with him forever. We will celebrate the birth of Jesus and await the coming of the Christ. We have a wreath for Advent, which is made of various evergreens. The wreath signifies eternal life. The circle of the wreath has no beginning and no end, symbolizing the eternity of God, the immortality of the soul, and the everlasting life we find in Christ. The color green means new life, the new life we received in Christ Jesus. The holly and the ivy symbolize the crown of thorns that Jesus wore when he was crucified. There are five candles for Advent. They represent hope, peace, love, joy, and purity. The first candle represents hope. The Messiah or prophecy candle representing the prophets who predicted the coming of Jesus. Verse 6. For us, for to us a child is born, is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. 
Mark 1, verse 1 to 3. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord, make straight paths for him. We are now going to sing Have I, O Ihr Gläubigen, O Come, O Ye Faithful. Uh, the brass band will start playing and you sing along straight away. The Bethlehem candle. The receive the. Luke 1 verse 46 And Mary said, My soul will glorify the Lord.
The third candle represents joy, the joy the shepherds felt when they received the news of Jesus' birth. Isaiah 12, verse 6, Shout aloud and sing for joy, people of Zion, for great is the Holy One of Israel among you. Luke chapter 2, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all people. The fourth candle represents love, the angel's candle representing peace and God's love for the world. Luke 2 verse 13 to 14. Suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angels, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests.
John 8, verse 12. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Acts 1, verse 11. Men of Galilee, they said, Why do you stand here looking at the sky? This same Jesus who was taken from you into heaven will come back in the same way you have seen him go into heaven. During this Advent season, let us thank God for the birth of Jesus as we share love, hope, peace and joy with the world around us. Let us be witnesses for Christ as we prepare for the time when he will come again.
It's Advent. It's a busy time of year. We heard in the sermon today a little bit about patience and how important that is, especially at this time of the year. Do you remember the symbolism of the candles that the children spoke about? The first candle, hope. The second candle, peace. The third candle, joy. The fourth candle, love. And in the middle, the Christ candle, purity. The purity of the one who is the light of the world. We ended off by singing, go take your candle into the world. And the thing about all these things is they're, they're good to think about. They're good to take note of. But they aren't worth all that much if we don't do them. Das ist, wozu wir berufen sind, um rauszugehen und ein Licht zu sein. Und das schließt diese Sachen mit ein. Friede, Freude, Hoffnung, Liebe. Das sollen wir leben. And I, I want to encourage you, I know we've all heard this before. I know that we all live it in various ways at various times. But I also know we need to be reminded of it. Uh, in the sermon, uh, I spoke about taking the reins and going, whoa. <laughs> right. It's important that we do that and just remind ourselves. Uh, and, and the fact that we don't always get it right actually not so much a train smash as it is the reason why we need to do that. Whoa. And just remind ourselves. Und dazu möchte ich euch heute Mut machen. Uh, ich wünsche uns allen eine, auf Deutsch sagen wir immer, besinnliche Adventszeit. Uh, ich wünsche uns sowas, aber auch eine freudenreiche und gesegnete. That German word besinnlich is, uh, it means being able to become quiet and reflect. Uh, it's difficult to translate, but it's an important thing. Uh, and I know we're not always going to get the gaps for that, but where you have them and where you are able to make them, take the time to think about these things and just refocus. That's my encouragement to us all today. I would like to end with the prayer and the blessing, and then we will sing joy to the world together. Freue dich Welt. Let's pray. Lord, we want to thank you for every good gift that you give us. We thank you for our children and for everything that they were able to do here today. Thank you that we can enjoy them. Thank you for every blessing that flows into our lives through them. Aber du hast uns mit noch so viel mehr gesegnet und dafür danken wir dir heute. Wir danken dir in dieser Adventszeit, dass du in unsere Welt gekommen bist, immer wieder kommst. Und auch ein Tag wieder kommen wirst, um alles zu erfüllen, was du versprochen hast. While we wait for your return, Lord, we ask you to strengthen us for service in your name, but we also ask you to guide us along the way, to be a light in our darkness and to equip us so that we can be a light in the darkness around us. And so today we ask you to be with us, to stay with us, to guide us, to keep us, and to bless us. And so receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. So segne und behüte euch, der allmächtige und barmherzige Gott, der Vater, der Sohn und der Heilige Geist. Amen. Wir singen zusammen, freue dich Welt. Joy to the world.
And with that, I wish you all a lovely rest of the day, a good week ahead, and a blessed festive season.